All right, Tiger Nation. Um, obviously, I'm going to make this video about the breaking news. Brandon Shooter getting fired as offensive coordinator. I was taking a nap at the time. I woke up, a bunch of text messages from friends um, stating that Brandon Shooter got fired. And honestly, I didn't believe it. Um, you know, I instantly checked Twitter, saw that insiders were verifying the reports. Um, it's still honestly pretty shocking to me that Dabo made that decision, but, uh, you know, it's, it's the correct decision and it looks like we have, um, his replacement in Garrett Riley, which I'll talk about later. Um, you know, first I want to say, you know, thanks to Brandon Schreeder. I doubt he'll see this, but, um, you know, uh, Brandon Schreeder, former Clemson quarterback, assistant coach, um, for several years, uh, got the promotion to offensive coordinator, which I'm sure was such a massive step for him. You know, he's probably thinking, you know, this is the next step before I become a head coach. Um, you know, so I feel bad, you know, just for him and his family. But, um, you know, this was the correct decision by Dabo, honestly. Um, you know, so, you know, I want to thank Streeter. I think the thing I'll always remember about him is is that 2014 bowl game with Cole Stout. You know, Cole struggled all year. You know, the offense looked so bad. He got replaced by Deshaun. Um... And then, you know, we lose Chad Morris. Deshaun tears his ACL. And we got Cole Stout in that bowl game against Oklahoma. Just hadn't played good at all that year. And he just went off in the bowl game. Looked like a completely different player. And I think Streeter obviously deserves a lot of credit for that. What a rapid uh, change he made with Cole Stout's game. Um, you know, I think a lot of the decision has to do with the fact that DJ's progression under Streeter was non-existent. In fact, he regressed. I mean, just look at those two starts TJ had as a freshman against Boston College, and then to go on the road against Notre Dame and throw for 400 yards. You know, it just felt like DJ is going to be that Deshaun Watson, Trevor Lawrence guy, right? He's going to play three years. He's going to be a first-round draft pick, former five-star recruit. I think he was ranked just behind Bryce Young, who was also from California. Um, and then sophomore year, man, he just looked lost just looked totally lost. We were plagued by injuries that year, especially at wide receiver. Um, you know, but DJ just, I don't know what happened. You know, he just looked like a completely different quarterback. And then he showed slight improvements, especially slimming down and becoming more mobile. But still, he was a shell of himself from where he was as a freshman. Where he was, you know, in 2020 to where he ended his Clemson career, he just looked like a completely different player. I don't, and it's hard to explain how that happens. And I don't know who you can blame other than Streeter because by all indications, DJ is one of the hardest workers on the team. You know, the story about, you know, Dabo telling him he's starting for Trevor because he got COVID. I mean, DJ was in the film room studying Boston College as a freshman, probably knowing he's not going to play in that game. So by all indications, DJ is an extremely hard worker, and yet he still got worse. You know, that's got to be on Brandon Streeter. So I think a lot of the decision Dabo made is, is just look at what happened with DJ. And then you look at um, Cade. You know, Cade didn't progress that well during Streeter either this entire year. You know, he honestly, the best moment he had was against Georgia Tech in the opener. Yeah, I guess North Carolina, but they didn't prepare for him at all. Um, you know, so I think Dabo understood that he can't run that risk with Cade. I think he realizes he has something special in Cade. And that's why he went out and made such a big splash with Garrett Riley. Uh, you know, Garrett Riley, just the pedigree's there, right? Two years at SMU, they finished top 15 in offense both years. TCU played for the national championship this past year. Yeah, they got destroyed by Georgia, but honestly, they're just overmatched from a talent perspective. What he did with Max Duggan, who finished second in the Heisman in one year, that's crazy. Think about what he can do with Cade, the former number one overall high school quarterback with lots of potential. Athlete, fast, accurate. Like, once he gets better in the pocket, better decision making, um, you know, the sky is the limit for Cade. And I think Garrett Riley is going to turn him to such a problem at quarterback, honestly. Um, you know, so that's such a massive decision by Dabo, bringing in one of the best offensive coordinators, not to mention he's you know, Lincoln Riley's brother, say what you want about Lincoln Riley, one of the most brilliant offensive minds in college football. 
Um, you know, he's a guy, if he had a defense at Oklahoma or USC, their offense is so good that they could have won a national championship. Um, and that's because of him. He is such a brilliant mind. Um, and he, we're getting his younger brother, who also has a proven track record as offensive coordinator. Just, I mean, just, you know, my excitement right now is, is, is pretty crazy. Um, you know, a lot of thoughts going through my mind, but, you know, offensively, we're definitely going to get better. And if you really look at these last two years, we were a competent offense away from playing in the playoffs again. Um, 2021, we had one of the best defenses in college football. The fact that we won 10 games despite our offense is pretty incredible, right? If we had a competent offense, you know, I mean, who knows? We could have gone undefeated. I mean, Georgia only beat us 10 to three because we threw a pick six. Um, you know, and then, and then this past year, offense just a total disaster. You know, DJ's performance against uh, South Carolina, eight of 29, just one of the worst performances I've ever seen. That's just not gonna happen in Garrett Riley. And, you know, if we were just slightly better offensively, we beat South Carolina and then we go to the playoffs again. You know, so we're super close. And what we have returning, Shipley, Maffa, the one of the best running back duos in the entire country. Cade is gonna make such a leap in year two under Garrett Riley. Um, you know, our top two receivers were a freshman and a sophomore, getting both of them back. The coaches rave about Ad Adam Randall. Cole Turner flashed against North Carolina and Tennessee. Um, you know, losing in Gata, I would like for us to bring in a transfer to replace him. But, you know, those four guys I mentioned, I think are going to have pretty uh, big leaps next year. And then when we add in recruiting, um, you know, the wide receiver room is probably going to be a lot better this year than what it was last year. Jake Brennan Sewell, big fan. I think he's one going to be one of the better tight ends in the entire country. He's a guy that will play on Sundays for sure. Matchup nightmare. Excited to see how Garrett Riley utilizes him. And then offensive line, we're turning four of our five starters. Um, you know, replacing McFadden at left tackles me pretty tough, but I think we all hope Tristan Lay, former five-star, in his third year, it's his time now. If he indeed becomes our starting left tackle, you're going to look at the biggest offensive line we've ever had under Dabo, and just based off recruiting rankings, it'll be the most talented, right? Tristan is five-star, Marcus Tate, Will Putnam, Walker Parks, Blake Miller, all four stars, rated really high, several power five offers. Blake Miller was a freshman All-American this year. Congrats to him. Um, the offense line should just be a lot better next year. Um, so, you know, it just gives me a lot, of, uh, uh, a lot of excitement about what our offense can do next year. Um, this isn't even including all the, all the people we're bringing back on defense. I'll make another video about that. Um, you know, uh, you know, I think next year is shaping up to be a much better year. I think we're going to be a lot better team next year than what we were this year. Um, and we were close to making the playoffs this year, although I think we'd have gotten blown out, but we were still close to making the playoffs. Um, so massive move by Dabo. He lives by the motto, best is standard. This is definitely an indication of that, you know, to fire Streeter one year after promoting him to offensive coordinator basically admitting that you made a mistake and it was a mistake promoting Streeter after the offense was so bad in 2021 didn't make a whole lot of sense felt like we should have gone outside to get someone um so i mean this is just one year too late honestly but i'm glad it, i'm glad it's here garrett riley is one of the best offensive coordinators in college football and uh, you know i'm excited that he's joined clemson staff um you know, Tiger Nation has a lot to be excited about. Next year is going to look a whole lot different. I can't wait. I think we're going to compete for the playoffs. Um, definitely compete for the ACC championship along with Florida State. That's going to be a great game in Death Valley. Uh, you know, definitely excited about next year. Um, a lot more so than what I was after we lost to Tennessee. You know, I felt like, man, we were going to regress. We, we, were going to, we might struggle to win 10 games next year. Now it feels like you know, uh, you know, the, we're bouncing back. Now it feels like we can compete for uh, the playoffs again. Um, so super excited. Glad Garrett Riley is part of Clemson Nation. Super excited for him. Um, it's gonna be fun to watch next year. Um, with me moving forward, I'm probably gonna keep making more videos. I enjoy being able to express my thoughts a lot easier uh, on video than, than typing on a message board. So I'm probably gonna keep making these videos. Um, if you could do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, that would be great. It's free, literally free. 
you just gotta click a button, um, it'll be beneficial for me, all right? Um, but I'll keep making more videos. Um, yeah, good news for Tiger Nation. Uh, see you in the next one.